Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in this particular video I am going to discuss is about a small code which can be used to visualize the KNN classification in MATLAB okay which is going to be very interesting but I want that all of you should understand this particular code clearly. Although you can use this particular code for visualization as template which I will be giving but it is always better to understand the code and then implement that okay. So first of all I will be showing line by line. First of all CLC clear all close all okay. Simple no need to explain self explanatory thing. CLC for clearing the comment window, clear all for clearing the workspace and close all for clear, uh, closing all the figure window. Now as soon as you write this one what will happen the data set you need to import because the previously imported data set will be clear due to application of clear all. So I will be simply going to import data and here I will be going to desktop and here I will be writing data.txt and I will be importing my IDS data set which is very popular data set in machine learning ok. I will just click on the green color tick button and see the following variable where imported data 150 cross 5 alright. Let us have a glance of our data and same data as I have taken earlier also sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width and class. But what I have told you in my previous video that, that we will be discussing our model based on petal length and petal width only. We will try to classify that particular flower based on petal length and petal width. Alright. So now after importing, importing the data next step is creating the model and for that fit C K N N fit C for classification K N N for K nearest neighbor data comma class we want to predict that is the response variable we can say PL plus PW that is based on petal length and petal width we want to predict okay then next one suppose I want to perform 10 nearest neighbor classification. So I need to change the property. So what I will be doing model form dot num neighbor is equal to 10 as I have discussed earlier no need to explain. Now up to this it is all right. Now suppose I want to show you this particular thing in a plot. Okay. So first of all what is the basic requirement? Our plot will be based on petal length and petal width. So we will be finding the range first ok. So for that very simple code mean and man, max function present in MATLAB we will be using. E equal to mean of data dot pl using this we can extract a particular column using dot and then giving the column name table name dot column name ok alright. So mean data dot petal length and then 0 0.01 very small increment I am taking later I will be discussing why I have taken like this you will be understanding ok. But for the time being anyway you know that for what plotting any continuous thing we need to give very small increment because everything is discrete in nature in computer. So if we want to make continuous thing then we need to give very small increment right. Then colon max of data dot petal length ok we will be going to max. Similarly, we will be calculating minimum of petal uh, width to maximum of petal width. Same increment. Now the problem is that if I evaluate up to this particular part, let me just do evaluation and then let me clear this. Now suppose I want to get the length of my E, I will having 591 and if I calculate length of f I will be having 251 uh, 41 like we generally use for plot x comma y that thing we cannot use here try to understand why because plot x comma y in that case x and y should have same length but here e and f are not having same length that is a problem so what we will be doing that is a weapon that is we will be using miscrete in MATLAB just recall the principle ok let me just show you in simple format Suppose just showing example a equal to 2 suppose 1 colon 3 ok b equal to 1 colon 5 right can you plot a comma b no right because vectors must have same length so what we can do simple e f we are writing like this and then mess grid a comma b what will happen you know two new matrix will be created e and f e will be having the row same as a 
and F will be having column same as B and overall dimension of the two matrix will be same. If I hit enter, see how it is happening. E, it is taking repetition of A. See, A was ranging from 1 to 3. So, it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, like that it is going. 5 rows and 3 columns, 5 cross 3. And if you check F, F was 1 to 5. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, here also 5 rows, 3 columns. But the repetition is column-wise for F and repetition is row-wise for E. Now, our E and F are ready for plotting because those having same dimension. Just we need to form one single vector using this. And that we can simply doing if we write, suppose, G equal to E colon. Okay. What it will do? It will be selecting column wise. Okay. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3. Like that it will go. See? 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3. And suppose I am taking RS equal to F colon. Okay. So it will again take column wise. So what was our F? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here you can check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you can simply plot, plot G comma RS and you'll be getting the plot. All right. So I hope you understood that how to, if you have inequal length data set, then how to convert those to equal length. Same algorithm I have used here, mesh grid, very powerful weapon. So here we have done x1, x2 equal to mesh grid EF. Okay. And then what we have done, as I have shown you, we can create one new matrix which is having elements of x1 colon and x2 colon. This we can use for plotting purpose. But what we need to plot? We First we need to have prediction that what is the possible class for that. Then we are, then only we will plot that, right? So ms equal to predict and then model font comma x. I have already told you how to use prediction using one model that is using predict function present in MATLAB which is inbuilt, okay? Then after getting MS, some will be Iris Setosa, some will be Iris Virginica, some will be Iris Versicolor. Now we need to plot different different data points according to their different class. Different colors should be present. So for that you can use GS Scatter. Okay. So G Scatter, what it will do? It will group similar categorical element and will plot in a particular color. So what we'll be doing? x1 colon x2 colon as our original data set which is having same length then you need to give that variable based on grouping will be done on the data set like here ms is storing the predicted outcome that may be id is versicolor that may be id is virginica that may be id is setosa and that based on that grouping will be done here in mathworks documentation you can check gs g scatter which create a scatter plot of x and y grouped by g okay so similarly here grouped by ms which is storing the outcome of our prediction and then we are as there are three class different types so c y m crayon yellow magenta three different colors we are giving and then giving hold on why because we need to plot our original data set also right and then plot our original data set which is data dot petal length data dot petal width and data dot class okay our original class that's all this is our simple code to visualize the k nearest neighbor all right now i will be showing the code carefully observe the visualization very beautiful it will look okay see here this comes our visualization okay so here you can see the red color are iris setosa green colors are iris versicolor and the blue colors are basically iris virginica so based on petal length and petal width, we have done our visualization. This is called decision boundaries. And what are the wrong predictions? Can you tell? See, here, in this particular region where the region for iris virginica is present, here some green points came, which are basically iris versicolor. So these two points are predicted as wrong. These blue colors are iris virginica, but these three blue points are coming under iris versicolor DGR. So these are predicted as wrong. Okay. But most of the data points are predicted correctly are in proper decision boundaries. You can check the prediction accuracy. Just you need to give RGB here. Then you can see 
our prediction okay so as we have imported uh, we have implemented clear all let me import the data once more data dot text and here it goes and then if we run this particular part it will take some time to implement and see red color no, no other data points coming that means id status is completely correct in the region of iris versicolor some uh, blue points three blue points came which are belonging from iris virginica and these two green points coming under iris virginica although those are versicolor iris versicolor so total out of 150 data set only five data points are predicted wrong so our model accuracy is quite high so I hope you have understood how to do visualization of KNN in MATLAB. This is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.